Have you ever considered that the cats on the internet meme is part of an experiment by the Rand Corporation on behalf of the CIA? Have you ever stopped to consider what might be hidden in those pictures? On your internets, staring at your lol cats. Guys, it's a scary world out there. Wars, the world of recession, racism. And as we all know, there are even more frightening, terrifying things lurking within the shadows that these more familiar problems cast. Thankfully, there are many brave and stalwart individuals out there who are willing to risk their lives and even their sanity to reveal and outline for us all these terrifying problems in all the detail of a fan-drawn Star Trek technical manual. But that being said, are conspiracy theories really for you? It's pretty much a given we're going to review specific theories in the future, but for today we're just going to be looking at the field as a whole to help determine if conspiracy theories are for you. Easily the best thing about conspiracy theories is that it makes the study of history a whole lot more interesting. JFK was shot by a lone gunman? More like he was shot by the entire Western Hemisphere packing magic bouncy bullets that defy all forensic science and common sense. And while we're at it, why don't we just, you know, put it out there that Arrested Development was really cancelled so that David Cross would have the time he needed to help defend planet Earth from an army of invisible Martian sex panthers. By reading up on these things and piecing together your own theories, you can get to be a kind of hero in the vein of Paul Revere. And, you know, even if the townspeople react to your claims with skepticism and dirty looks, you can still have a pretty solid chance of befriending other conspiracy theorists through online forums, newsletters, and the like. The flip side of that, of course, is that most people won't get what you're trying to warn them about, and that can be very isolating. Sometimes you're going to want to spend time with people other than your fellow conspiracy theorists. However, they can end up being put off a little by your passion. Plus, let's face it, it takes a lot of time and energy to string together the delicate connections between Freemason's red food dye and Pamela Anderson's tits. That one, that one took about three hours of making stuff up on Wikipedia, by the way, just, uh, just saying. Plus, if you write about all these horrible things, then man, we are screwed! So why would you even want to believe in all this stuff? Well, here's my conspiracy theory theory. Do you remember how I said that the study of conspiracy theories makes history a lot more interesting? Well, strangely enough, it also makes history make a lot more sense. A, a kind of sense. See, if everything in history that has shocked or alarmed us has seemingly leapt from terrifying random forces that nobody could understand or even predict, instead was carefully orchestrated by powerful shadowy figures, well then, maybe powerful shadowy figures also made it so that your life didn't turn out quite the way you wanted it to. Maybe that's easier to bear than knowing there was really a mixture of your own decisions and the random unpredictable chaos viewed forth by a cold and different universe that doesn't care whether you live or die. Whoa, things got kind of heavy there. Let's get some levity in here. A uh, little too much levity, I think, though. Uh, right then, conspiracy theories. Definitely a gas, definitely worth paying attention to, in the same way that you pay attention to comic books or epic science fiction sagas. Just like those, it's a great source of entertainment, but it can have detrimental effects if you take it a little too seriously. Well, that's a load of crap if I've ever heard it. Jenny turned me down for the prom because the lizard men at the center of the earth on their golden thrones told her to. And the aliens were in on it too, I tell you. Well, anyways, it's a fact and I know it because I was yelling about the lizard men right at the time that she turned me down. JFK was shot by a lunatic? Pfft. More like he was shot by pretty much the entire Western... Whoa! Things got a little heavy there, huh? Let's get some levity... Fuck. <laughs> you don't know him! You don't know enough about him! Introducing Sean McLean! Sean McLean, seriously, seriously. Sean McLean abides by no known laws of fashion. He once took a t-shirt, cut it down the middle, and then attached it to himself with belts. The belts were made out of bees. And the bees were very happy to be there. They were pretty fucking happy. I gotta tell you, those bees, they were just having a blast. A blast with Sean McLean. You've just learned something about Sean, Sean McLean. McLean. And bees.